G'day Blair Took, uh, you're currently sailing on Mafre in the lead of the Volvo Ocean Race right now. Uh, what is it like to be down there? You're almost in uh, the fabled Roaring Forties. Yeah, it's uh, nice to be in the lead as we head towards Cape Town. Uh, it's been a difficult couple of days for us with the other guys um, being sort of right in the thick of the front and us just in front of it. Uh, so they've been catching us a little bit, but now it's been some awesome sailing, uh, sort of riding in front the whole way across the South Atlantic, sort of until this morning doing over 20 knots the whole time, about 120, 130 through wind angle. Um, starting to lighten off and go uh, aft the breeze now, so a bit more VMG. Um, but now all good, having a good time. Cool. Now, <clears throat> you notably came to fame blazing around on a 49er and then obviously Bermuda uh, earlier this year. How does the Volvo Ocean Race stack up with your expectations? Yeah, it's, um, it's been pretty good. I mean, the last few days, like I said, the sailing across the, on the front of this front in pretty good breeze. Uh, awesome fun yesterday, especially. Sort of had up to 27, 28 knots. Doing some pretty good speeds for a while, so uh, no, it's been a, it's been a good experience, and uh, you know hopefully we can keep pushing hard and um, be first into Cape Town. It's been a, now you mentioned so far, so see how the rest <laughs> of it shapes up. Um, you mentioned that the Dongfong racing has been coming back at you a little bit. Uh, it can, I'm looking over your shoulder right now, and they're about what 18 miles away, I think, something like that. Um, how much does that concern you? Are you? Do you think that they're moting the boat in a different way? Are they, what are they doing to come back at you? Yeah, I think um, Dongfong especially, um, you know, they sailed straight past those other guys and um, been catching us, so I think they are sailing the boat well. I think we maybe put the boat in a couple of wrong modes at times in the last couple of days, um, but for the most part, I think it's just been a bit of a breeze thing. I know they're definitely fast, but now we're into this sort of more VMG uh, or fast VMG downwind, and then we're into a transition or jibe tonight into a transition, and then hopefully it starts coming back our way a little bit um, as we get into southeasters and uh, towards Cape Town. So um, they're definitely fast, but you know we know if they, we still can't see them yet. And even if, even if we can see them, we know we can stay in front of them, so we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> nice to hear. Now. Looking over my shoulder, as of this recording, you've been at sea for 16 days and 19 hours. This is the longest time you've been at sea in one stretch. Um, what is it like to be constantly wet uh, and cold? Cold now, but obviously you were overheating when you went across the equator. Um, what's it been like to be at sea for so long? Yeah, it's been all good. It's been uh, you know, lots of different uh, parts of the race, obviously. Pretty fast out of Lisbon, uh, then into some trade wind stuff, and then a little bit of doldrums and then quite a lot of trade wind south of the equator obviously the equator with my haircut and uh and then now into the sort of frontal system over the last four days it's been uh yeah so many different parts to it and uh, been loving it so no all good now now do you reckon you picked up any speed with your racing stripes um on your head your haircut that you got from king neptune No, nah, not much speed, <laughs> I think. But uh, just a bit of, bit of sunburn to start with. Um, but no, it's uh, all part of it, and nice to have my first equator crossing under my belt. Um, now, obviously, you've been wet, sometimes hot, sometimes cold, but one of the constants that's been going on in your life at sea has been sleep deprivation. This is something that's relatively new for you. Can you talk about what it's like to sleep and live generally on board the Volvo 65s? Yeah, it hasn't been too bad for us. I think the first couple of days out of Lisbon with lots of jibes and breezy downwind was um, probably the hardest. Uh, and then at other times, sort of through the doldrums with quite a few sail changes, it was a bit tough. But then, you know, the last week or so have been pretty good in routines. Um, but yeah, it's, it's certainly a couple of times been a little bit tired and a bit sleep deprived, but it's, uh, it's all part of it. It's going to get a lot worse. Uh, come the Southern Ocean and different parts of this race. Cool. Now, it's, it's pretty cool for our audience to be sitting there, probably wearing, you know, sports jackets or black tie, sitting down at a nice meal while they're, while they're watching this. Um, 
you're sitting there on the back of a boat grinding, grinding away. Do you miss your, your cycling post, your cycler position on the, uh, on the cup boat? Um, what's it like physically? Um, no, it's not too bad. I could probably lie down and use my legs now if you, if you wanted, but no, it's just, <laughs> physically it's, it's been not too bad. Uh, and uh, no, it's been some awesome sailing, so loving, loving every minute. Cool. Now, standard journalist-type question that is probably going to be awkward to, uh, to answer where you are now. You've had a pretty incredible 18 months with, um, with uh, obviously, the Olympics, the America's Cup, and now the Volvo Ocean Race. Um, what does that mean to you? Can you put, a little, put that a little bit into perspective as to the course of your, your career and then, obviously, what's coming up with uh, the next America's Cup? Yeah, it's certainly been a pretty uh, awesome ride over the last... 18 months and uh, so many diff um, sort of amazing different experiences and uh, you know now doing this it's uh, been great fun and uh, just looking forward to hopefully getting a you know leg win under our belt first and foremost and then uh, pushing on from there so uh, this, is, this is definitely a, a new experience and um, one I'm really enjoying so far. Uh, did you have any fond memories when you were going down the coast of Brazil and you thought back to uh, last summer when you were sailing a much smaller boat? Yeah, it's pretty funny. Like, we're literally only a couple of hundred miles off there. And, uh, yeah, so much has happened since then, since Pete and I won the gold medal there. And, you know, it was such an awesome time for us there. And um, to have done the cup with the Team New Zealand guys, who I'm sure a lot of them are in the room now. Um, you know, it's, that was pretty awesome. So, no, it's been an awesome 18 months, and um, to sail straight past Rio was, was cool. Now, a couple of days ago, Team New Zealand uh, announced uh, what the new boat is going to look like. Uh, do you get a sneak peek at that in Lisbon before you set off on this, or are you sort of in the dark as the kind of machine that you're going to be sailing in 2021? No, I had a... Uh, Inkling or two where it was heading. Um, so uh, one of the guys on the boat got the email about it, so um, read the press release. But now I've been mainly out of comms, just trying to make this boat go fast, really. Um, are you afraid that you're going to be lining up against Shabby in, in a couple of years' time? You know, your teammates now, and you're going to be um, competitors again? Yeah, maybe. We'll, we'll wait and see for now. We're very much uh, teammates and just trying to win this one together. Nice one. And then finally, what are you looking forward to most when you get into Cape Town? <coughs> Cold beer, warm burger, dry beard, etc. <coughs> yeah, all of that. And uh, no, I've never been to Cape Town before, so apparently it's an amazing city. So looking forward to getting there, maybe going surfing for a bit. And uh, just trying to recharge before uh, we head down to the Southern Ocean. You know, Leg 3 is going to be pretty awesome to sail to Melbourne. So, um, you know, looking forward to some good conditions down there. We've been going pretty well on the big breeze, so, um, yeah, looking forward to that. Cool. And so for the audience that's uh, currently in the Royal New Zealand Yacht Squadron, can you give a little bit of wisdom, maybe for the youngsters in the audience, about what they can do in to, to get into your, I was going to say your shoes, but probably your wet boots right now? <laughs> uh, my feet are dry, luckily. Um, but no, just keep working hard towards your goals. Um, Make sure you're enjoying yourself. It's the main thing, I think. Just if you're, if you're not enjoying yourself, then you're never going to be doing well. So keep enjoying it and working hard towards whatever goals you've got in, in life. <laughs> Clearly keep working hard. Thank you very much. It sounds Standing so much better when you're out of breath when you say that. So that's fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Starting to get out of breath. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks very much, Blair. You've got an important job to do. Stay at the front. We wish you all the very best. Yeah, thank you very much. And hi to all my friends and uh, teammates and everyone in the room uh, there tonight. Hope you're having a great evening. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Thanks very much, mate. That's awesome.